I don't know if I can even express how it feels to see something that I imagined suddenly made physically real. It's like a pinch me moment. We're literally on Pandora. Pandora is the moon that is the focus of the story of Avatar. Pandora is kind of the Garden of Eden, our untouched nature. It's something that we imagine that we used to have, that we yearn for deep in our soul. Disney came to us with the idea of a land, a place where you could come and just be in the world of Pandora. And we started talking about what a land of Pandora could be like. Bob Iger saw an opportunity to put it at Disney's Animal Kingdom. The value system that underlies the story of Avatar and the value system that underlie Animal Kingdom are pretty much the same. There is an intrinsic value of nature. How do we conserve this habitat and bring back habitat that's been disturbed by people? It wasn't just gonna be about action and conflict. We were gonna move past that. We're here long after the war between the humans and the Navi has ended. It's a time of peace. We see nature resurgent, coming back everywhere. This is a real ecosystem. It is a chance to have your own adventures on Pandora. When you're building a world for guests to explore, you have to build it in full 360. I have never worked on anything as technically challenging and fantastically complex. To have these gigantic mountains suspended overhead, they're office stories tall, and they're hanging over your head in the middle of this land, I just don't know where there's anything like that. I think the biggest challenge was creating interactive opportunities for guests where they feel engaged by it. This is, in a, a, a way, a kind of habitat restoration project to allow the forests of Awa to research. You get in here, and it's almost like you're petting an animal, right? You get in there, yep, make yep. contact with that surface. Right. That contacts the nerve structure, right. and then the whole thing starts to send spores right. off. And then down the valley, there's tons of little ones that are starting to right, grow. Right. You should be thinking of our lands as characters. The land is portraying the emotion. The land is teaching you how to respond and what it means to be in the place. We took a research trip to Bali and Jakarta to work with indigenous people there, doing some of the creative weaving and carving that the indigenous people on Pandora would do. So in the land, there's gonna be uh, several large totems, probably about 20 feet tall, that are woven all different. They'll represent different clans of Navi. Authenticity is important because it's a real place and we want you to feel that. It's a real world experience. We are taking guests on excursions that come out of the cultures of Pandora. So Jim, this is the Navi drum circle and this will be something that guests can interact on their own. So you can walk right in to oh, yeah, here absolutely. and interact this with is these. For this is for performers. This is for yes. guests, yes. right? It's like a drum circle in the park. Right. Let's get on the drums. Let's make some music. Let's dance. It's a place where there's room for you to be you. For those who want to seek it out and to see if they have what it takes to connect with a banshee as an avatar and fly over the landscape of Pandora, we offer that as well. You're going to plunge. You're going to dive. You're going to swoop. You're going to, you're going to see the world flying through it. One of the great things about working with Disney's Imagineers is being able to take our technology that we're using on Avatar and combining it with what they do in theme parks and bringing the two together to create something that is truly revolutionary in the theme park experience. The sensation of flying is really visceral, really believable. I know all the mechanics behind it, all the engineering, all the stuff that goes into the imagery, and I can't believe it. 
and depending on where you sit, you get different kinds of sub-stories. The top floor experiences way more ducking, of the bottom floor experiences way more of that rushing sensation of right. stuff going by. You could come here 50 times and have 50 different stories. It's just the sheer richness of detail that is impossible to absorb in a single setting. You'll see a building that's obviously a human building, you know, the, from the RDA, the, the, the bad guys of the movie. But wait a minute, the jungle's reclaiming it. The roots are breaking up the concrete. It's all going back. Everything you see that is a Pandoran plant is a controlled source of light. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can send right. waves and pulses right. through the landscape. We can throw focus. When you go to night, it transitions to something quite exotic and, and magical because there's a whole different color palette. That's when the purples come out, and the cyan colors come out, and these soft pastels, and it becomes very dreamlike. Night was the time when you saw the connectivity behind everything, almost the nervous system of the forest, how everything was tied together. The river journey is such a beautiful experience. You really feel like you're moving through the rainforest at night, so the colors of the bioluminescence and all the animals that come out at night, you see all these little vignettes going on around you in the forest, and it just, it just comes to life. And then, of course, I don't want to spoil it, but there's something pretty amazing at the end of that river ride that you've never seen anything like in your life. Can we come down here and shoot some scenes? <laughs> it's spectacular from every angle. Yeah. There is a story behind this land, and we want people to feel that story when they enter the land, when they go on the excursions we have here in the land, and when they leave the land and get back to their homes. This is real, and you're getting to walk into it and walk around it and, and study it, and, it, and it, it just holds up and gets more beautiful as you do it. Pandora is a world of adventure. When you finally get there and you really look around, you will see there's this little adventurous edge you get the opportunity to see how important nature is to the Na'vi. They really value conserving nature, and that's something that we epitomize here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's about reconnecting an audience with that almost childlike wonder and appreciation that you have for the natural world and how it feeds our soul. So that when you go to some other real place, you bring that with you. To leave with a different view on the world itself? Amazing. I don't think there's any way to be ready for what you're gonna experience.